Today, we've got some exciting news about the upcoming Galaxy S25 FE that could change how we see Samsung's flagship devices. Rumor has it that Samsung may be making a significant shift from their traditional XNUS processors to MediaTek's latest offerings. Let's dive into the details. So a few days ago, we got some early details about the Galaxy S25 FE. Yes, it's quite early for a phone expected to launch next year, but tech enthusiasts are already buzzing. One of the most intriguing pieces of news is the potential switch from Exynos to a MediaTek chip for the S25 FE. That's right, Samsung might venture into new territory. According to reports circulating on social media, discussions have taken place between MediaTek and Samsung regarding the use of a Dimensity chip for the Galaxy S25 and the S25 Plus models. However, it seems those talks quickly shifted toward equipping the Galaxy S25 FE with MediaTek's technology. So what does this mean for consumers? Let's talk about the potential chip, the MediaTek Dimensity 9400. Now this is MediaTek's flagship chip and using it in the Galaxy S25 FE could be a game changer. Why? Because it promises to deliver flagship level performance while being more cost effective for Samsung. This chip features one Cortex-X 925 CPU core, three Cortex-X 4 cores, and four Cortex-A 720 cores, all fabricated using cutting edge 3M technology by TSMC. What does this mean for you? Expect excellent performance and impressive battery life. And with the Galaxy S25 FE potentially priced around $649 or even lower after launch, it could represent fantastic value for consumers looking for top tier performance without breaking the bank. Now let's shift gears and talk about what the Galaxy S25 FE itself might look like. Rumors indicate the device will sport a 6.7 inch display, quite similar to its predecessor, the Galaxy S24 FE. But here's the exciting part. The new model is expected to come with thinner bezels and a sleeker design. And camera buffs, listen up. The S25 FE is likely to feature a triple camera setup, matching the high expectations that Samsung fans have grown to anticipate with their flagship devices. Plus, it's expected to run on Android 15 straight out of the box, ensuring users experience the latest software enhancements. One important aspect that consumers love about Samsung is their commitment to longevity through software updates. The Galaxy S24 FE receives seven major Android OS updates, and it's likely the S25 FE will follow suit. This means you can expect support and updates for years to come, reinforcing the device's long-term value. So there you have it. The Galaxy S25 FE looks like it's going to be a fantastic option for those seeking flagship performance at a more accessible price point, especially with the potential switch to MediaTek's Dimensity chip. What do you think about this change? Are you excited for the Galaxy S25 FE? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on tech news and product releases. Until next time, stay tech savvy. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, 
much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide, a 10-megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50-megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45-watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20-watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25-watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15-watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. 
The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.